Hey, what's going on guys? This is Joe from Fandroid. I'm here with my TV because the Shield TV first generation got nougat today. So let's take a look at the new features. So one of the first things you're gonna notice is the new Amazon video app, finally on Android TV. And so the Amazon video app gives you access to a bunch of movies and TV shows that you can buy and rent. But also if you're a Prime member, there's a ton of content that you can just watch for free, uh, original programming and stuff like that. Amazon has added a lot of this stuff to kind of compete with Netflix. So it's really nice to see this app. The UI is pretty easy to navigate. It works well. Videos can play in 4K if your TV supports that. And it works great. The next thing I wanna point out is on the home screen here, you'll notice there's not that special row anymore that had the NVIDIA apps and Netflix, which was just kind of annoying and took up more room than needed to. So that's gone now and those apps are in the other rows like they should. There's also a new NVIDIA games app now. And this is just a way to see all the games that you have. Uh, there's some special games in here that you can get only from NVIDIA. Also the regular Android games that you can get from Google Play. It's just a nice way to see all the games that you have. And if you have a PC that supports NVIDIA game stream, you can do that from here as well. Now, while we're here, you can see a new feature in Android Nougat for the Shield TV, and that's multitasking. So if you double press the home button, it brings up this page where you can see all your recent apps. And then you can go through the list and switch apps easily, basically like you would on your phone. Another new app that's now available is the Nest app. So if you have this app and you have Nest cameras in your home, you can actually just watch the feeds on your TV, which is very convenient. A new feature on the remote is that you can double tap the volume slider area and that will work as a play pause for whatever you're working. Just a nice little shortcut since the small controller doesn't have a play pause button. Another new feature for Nougat is picture in picture mode. And this works right now with the live channels app. So when you're watching something, you go down here to PIP and that will move the video up to the corner of the screen. And then you can open up another app and watch that video while you're doing something else. And then if you open the multitasking page, that video stays at the top and you can go full screen or you could exit out of it. Not a lot of apps support this right now, but I imagine more will be supporting it as time goes on. Next up is the redesigned settings menu, which slides in from the side now, and it looks more like a phone UI. It's just a lot easier to scroll up and down in a vertical list like this than it was in the previous design. And that's pretty much it for this update. There are obviously other things that we didn't mention in this video, but these are kind of the big things that you're gonna wanna know about. So the update is rolling out now if you have the original generation Shield. It's called the Shield Experience Upgrade 5.0. Be sure to download that if you have it and we will see you guys next time.